What's up guys, I'm the Freedom Ninja and today I'm going to be showing you some of the techniques and progressions I used to get the wing nuts. So there are two ways to build swing on a wing nut. The first is the straddle technique where you lift one leg off to the side, then the other one and slowly build swing this way. This allows you to only have side to side swing and not have any forward and backward swing. The second technique is to turn your body into a big kick in both directions. This allows you to build swing faster, but it does tend to give you a forward and backward swing. Since the wing nuts require you to do a side lache, I would definitely recommend progressions. And the first one would just be to build up swing and let go of the obstacle and practice that side exit. Then to swing and touch the wing nut. Then you would build up swing and try to touch like you're going to grab on, but not actually hold on. And then finally, right before you grab the wing nut, try to actually grab it, but I would recommend going for one side because that is easier. Then you want to work up to being able to grab both sides, so swing off, touch, and then your final attempt would be to swing and try to grab both sides of the wing nut. Since you have to do this side lache, the wing nut will be in your way, so you need to find a way to get around the wing nut in order to grab it. And the first tip I would recommend for this is as soon as you release, lean back so that then you can reach forward and grab the wing nut. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the orbit. Now, if you do have that forward and backward swing that you have heard me talk about, you will go in an orbit and sometimes this will send you out away from the wing nut, sometimes it'll send you towards the wing nut, and sometimes it will send you in past the wing nut. Now as you can probably imagine, this orbit can be helpful or harmful. It can either help you get to the next obstacle or it can send you in the wrong direction. You need to learn how to read where your swing will be next. Since it is a pattern, you will know where you will be going next. So if you're going in, your next swing will be going towards the wing nut. Then you will be going away from the wing nut. Then you will be going back towards. And then finally back in. In. And if you read it and if you go when you're going away from the wing nut, you'll be able to catch that wing nut and that wing nut won't actually be in your way. As with every obstacle, I would definitely recommend practicing many different ways of doing that obstacle. So practice the orbit, get comfortable with reading that, practice leaning back and catching the wing nut, practice catching just one side, both sides, and with the wing nuts definitely make sure you practice going both directions. So practice flying right, make sure you practice flying left, which make sure you practice that side that is uncomfortable for you, and just practice going back and forth as many times as you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below about what tutorial you would like to see me do next.